I want to show you how you can use Excel to illustrate the payoff for a butterfly spread. So let me just show you the picture here and then I'll explain how it's created and how you can use Excel to draw this or to see the profits and losses from the butterfly spread. So you can see that they call it a butterfly spread because you have sort of the wings here and the body of the butterfly here. And if you notice, the maximum profits occur actually around $25. Actually, it's exactly $25. And the maximum profit is $4.50. So you're going to use this strategy if you think the stock price is going to hover around $25. If the price falls below 25 or well below 25, you'll lose some money. If it goes above 30, you're going to lose some money. But if it hovers around 25, you're going to do well. So how do you create this? Well, you want to use it when you don't think the price is going to change much. And what you're going to do is have three options here. You're going to buy a call option with the, next, with the lowest exercise price. So you have three options. The one with the lowest exercise price, you buy. The one with the middle exercise price, you're going to write or sell two of those. And then you're going to buy the third call. So in this case, you're going to buy the call with the exercise price of 20. You're going to write two calls with an exercise price of 25. And then you're going to buy a third call with an exercise price of 30. So let's go over here and see how this looks in terms of the payoff. So I have the payoffs for the long call, uh, the long 20 call. I have the payoff for the short 25 call, but only for one. So we'll have to double this. And then I have the payoff here for the long 30 call. So the 20 call has a premium of $2. So you buy a call option when you buy a call option, you pay a premium, in this case $2, for the right but not the obligation to be able to buy the stock at 20 If the stock price is below 20 it doesn't make any sense to use it, simply because if you wanted it and it was selling for 15 why buy it for 20 when you go, go into the open market and buy it for 15 So it won't be used. You'll just lose the premium. Again, the beauty of an option is if it's not beneficial to do so and you own it, you just throw it away. Now here, you're writing a call option with an exercise price of 25. So here you're receiving a dollar premium. And in this case, as long as the price is below 25, it's not going to be exercised against you for the same argument that the person who had the 20 call wasn't going to exercise for a price below 20. So you just get the dollar premium. And then the third call you're going to um, buy has a price of 50, 50 cents, and an exercise price of 30. And again, for a price below 30, it's simply not going to be used, and you're going to lose 50 cents. So what's the butterfly spread? It's really just adding across this row here. So in terms of Excel, how do you put in the payoff for a call option? Well, the payoff is going to be the maximum of the stock price minus the exercise price or zero, and then you're going to subtract out the premium you paid. So if the stock price is below the exercise price as it is here, right, that's negative, you'll just, it'll just take on the value of zero and you'll lose your $2 premium. Over here, this is just going to be the negative of a long call. So you would just put in the negative of parentheses, the maximum of the stock price minus the exercise price, in this case 25 or zero, minus the premium, right, and then close the parentheses. So in this case, you're getting a dollar. And over here, just like here, just like with the 20 call, it's going to cost you 50 cents and it's not going to be used. So let's take a look at the picture and see how it becomes this. So at a price below 20, 
none of the options are used. So you simply lose what you paid. How much did you pay for this strategy? You paid $2 for the long call, the long 20 call. You received $2 for the two 25 calls you sold, and then you paid 50 cents for the 30 call that you bought. So you lose 50 cents. Once you get to $20, for every dollar it goes above 20, you make a dollar on this call option, on your 20 call. And until you hit a price of 25, you continue to make a dollar. Once you get to a stock price of 25, now you've written two of these, so you're not only going to lose one dollar, you're going to lose two dollars here. You'll be making a dollar on the 20 call, you'll be losing two dollars on the 25 call, so this is going to turn downward. So your net effect is you're going to be losing a dollar for every dollar it goes up. Once it hits 30, your 30 call kicks in, and for every dollar it goes above 30, you're making a dollar here, you're losing two dollars here, and you're making a dollar here, so your net effect is zero, so it just flattens out. And that's why you have this flat part here. So that's how you get this payoff that looks like this. You'll notice that you've got a couple of different break-even points. Right? Here, the break-even on the uh, lower end here should be $20.00. And 50 cents, right? The stock price, the strategy costs you 50 cents. The exercise price is 20, so it has to go up 50 cents to break even. Over here, you happen to have an exercise price of 30, so the break even here is um, 29.50, and then as it goes up, you lose. Um, you don't lose anything because you just break even. So if you want to graph this, you can simply take advantage of Excel. So it's really great to be able to put these in using that max function that Excel has. So it'll find the maximum of the stock price minus the exercise price. So you put in the different stock prices here. And if you want to see that done, I've done that when I've um, uh, my video for looking at call and put payoffs. So you just highlight these cells here and then go up to insert and then I like to pick recommend a chart and you can see some of these are not the ones you want. They have these bar graphs and some other things and this is the one I want and I'm not going to click OK because I've already created the graph but you're able to create the graph and the nice thing is is that if you've created this graph you can also filter it so you can look at different parts so for example I'm just looking at the butterfly spread but you could look at the long 20 call and apply that and see what the payoff looks like you could add the short 25 call there and see what that payoff picture actually that's shorting two now it's actually shorting one 25 call, right? So you can do the different payoffs and see how they look. And the combination of them gives us this butterfly spread. So I think this is a really good way to understand the payoff, to use Excel to help create the graph, but also to create the payoff pictures. So I hope you find that helpful.